The time has finally arrived, people. Sony finally released the prices for the PlayStation 5. And there are two prices here, we see. The disc version has $500 on its name, and the digital version is $400. This is fantastic news, people. And since we've been waiting patiently for half a year to see how much it is, this is finally great news. But there's still something nagging me about the PlayStation 5 that Sony probably isn't telling us, so I'm here to ask the question, why is the disc version $100 more than the digital one. Maybe I'm just overanalyzing the whole price difference since college has trained me to overthink everything my professor hands to me, but I feel like there's a specific reason they did this for this generation so far. Nothing is a coincidence, people. But before we dive any deeper, I'd just like to say this. This is just a theory or speculation I've made for just keeping an ear out for all the gaming news over the years, and this is what I think. I didn't do any research because that's no fun, and it sounds like a lot of work. So I can't really confirm if this is all true or not, so with that disclaimer out of the way, let's dive deeper into this rabbit hole. So the real reason why the disc version is more expensive is because Sony is trying to eliminate the lost money that comes from used disc sales. The only people this would really affect is the third party market. If you guys don't know what a third party market is, it's basically like a GameStop or any other place that you can buy a used game from that isn't directly bought from PlayStation or the retailers they supply. You can see why this is bad for Sony because when you buy a new game, there's only three people that get a cut. It's just Sony, the video game makers, and the retailers they supply. When you buy a used game, none of these people make money. The only people that make money is probably GameStop, but they're slowly dying. Anyways, by eliminating the need for disk drive, those three people can still make the money that they make from people buying video games. And since they have a digital edition, they don't really have to worry about this, won't they? Because you can't physically trade digital media. But here's the thing, there's still someone that is going to get the short end of the stick here. And it looks like it's going to be the retailers. So Sony probably made a realization here that they thought, what if we can keep more money by eliminating one of these three people? Remember those three people I talked about earlier? Obviously, we can't eliminate the video game makers. So the next possible person that we can eliminate is the retailers. By selling more of their games through their PlayStation Store, they can essentially keep more of the profits and maybe give the video game makers a bone once in a while. So not only will this eliminate need for used games, meaning Sony keeps more of the money, third-party places like Best Buy, Target, or Walmart might not even get their cut since they're just bypassing all that and just selling their video games directly from their PlayStation Store. Which is why I really believe that they made two versions of this PlayStation 5. The digital one is much cheaper, significantly cheaper, so you might be more tempted to buy that version even though it doesn't have a disc version. I mean, why not, right? Streaming is the future of media consumption and looks like we're headed that towards that direction anyway. I have never owned a DVD player because I have a PlayStation like intellectual I am. I have both of them anyway. But most of the media I consume now is in the form of YouTube, Netflix, or even Hulu. So it makes perfect sense for a lot of people to buy just the discless version because they're consuming their media online anyway, so they're not losing much. But have you tried to pre-order one of these digital editions? Of course you can't. You can't find them anywhere because I have tried. The only ones you can probably snag if you're lucky enough is the disc version. What I'm assuming from this is a lot of people probably don't want that as their first option. They probably prefer the cheaper one because you see those video game prices of the new PlayStation 5 games, $70? Yeah, who wouldn't want to save $100 to buy a game for the system that they just bought? But anyways, the reason why I came up with this theory is because there's something I've noticed throughout the PlayStation Store throughout the years. So usually when I browse the PlayStation Store, I rarely find any good deals. Most of the time, the only good deal that you may get is if you're a PlayStation Plus owner. And even then, it's not even that good. You can still probably find a better deal at Best Buy, Target, etc. You know, those other stores. But this year has been different. It seems like PlayStation is taking their deals a lot more seriously. The recent event that they had, I was able to buy Assassin's Creed Origins for probably a better price than I would find in any retail store. Even the used game market. I was able to pick up this massive game, and it's fairly new, for $10. It seems like the route that Sony's been choosing is to put a lot more of the emphasis in their PlayStation Store. Because why not, right? They can keep more of the cut of the money and they don't have to rely on the other retailers. And since Sony will probably be making more money, hopefully this means video game companies can stop producing unfinished games anymore. But anyways, Sony can't do this, right? It would never work. See, the thing is, 
someone has already made it work on another platform. You're probably not aware of it because you're listening to this video and probably watching for this the console side. But if you go over to the PC side, most of the gamers buy their games online and just store it in their computer. So there's no need for physical disc anymore. Most of the time they get their games through Steam. An overwhelmingly common place for a lot of gamers from the PC side to get their video games from. I mean, they used to have some of their games on the shelves, but it's slowly been disappearing. Remember that game Orange Box that Steam made with a bunch of their games in it? Well, they used to have them in retail stores, but now I bet you you can't even find a physical disc version of their products anymore. Most of it's just gonna be distributed online. And sure, you can make the argument that, yeah, my Walmart has physical CDs, but have you ever seen the new PCs that they even sell on Amazon or Best Buy? They lack a CD drive most of the time, so you're not going to be able to use that physical CD unless you buy more parts for it. So the reason why I bring up Steam in this video is because I feel like Sony is trying to emulate them. They saw them through a distance and admire them and wanted to see how can I do that. So this must be Sony's next plan. They're transitioning from a disc version to a discless version where we won't need to physically buy the games anymore. Most of it's just going to be online. And the thing is, I feel like their plan is working. Let's look at the pre-orders when Sony lied to us about, you know, not being surprised about the pre-order date. But don't mind my saltiness. But just know, it's really hard to find a digital version out there. The discless version is the only one I see out there, and it looks like the plan might be working. So what does this mean for us as a consumer, right? Is this good or bad for us? Honestly, I don't know. But it eliminates an option, which I do not like. I do like the option of buying physical games because, you know, I do have the option to give it to my friend and they don't have to be tied out about worrying about playing it. And sometimes I do like to find cheaper games out there, even through eBay, GameStop, or all like that. So maybe I'm part of the problem too of why video games lose money, but at least I have the option to do it. I have the moral option to do it and have the more option to not do it. But in the future, this means it's probably good. We'll probably get more good games out of it. And the only bad thing I see is just, you know, just Sony controlling more prices over us. And I just don't like that. I do like the option of just waiting things out and seeing if it goes on sale in the used market. Or even wait to see if some of the other retailers sell it cheaper. I just don't like Sony controlling the fact that this is the one set price for this item. I wanted to see if I can get it somewhere else for cheaper. Especially considering that the new games are now $70. I don't know man, I might have to buy some of these games used or wait for the other retailers to put them on sale and not have Sony dictate the price on what they'll be. So if you're not one to buy any used games, this would probably not affect you. But if you do buy used games, this is something that you should probably look into. So to recap the video, Sony's really trying to push you to buy the discless version because it's cheaper and who wouldn't, right? But this also means that Sony is trying to cut off the lost revenue that comes from used games, which means in the future we might buy our games through the PlayStation Store just like Steam would. Now I pass up the question to you viewers of this video. Will this work? I don't know, maybe I'm just a crackpot theorist from the internet, but it, so far, it looks like it's working. Sony's big gamble might just be crazy enough to work, but we'll have to see. It's still too soon for my assumptions. I mean, it's kind of out there, right? I might be just so far in left field that I don't even know where I am. For all we know, I could be completely wrong, right? But if for some reason, if I stop posting videos, just know, I've been kidnapped by Sony and I'm probably strapped to a chair somewhere in the CIA agency. Anyways, if you stayed and watched the whole video, give it a like if you enjoyed it. But go ahead and subscribe for the channel so you can keep up and see if I actually did get kidnapped. I doubt it, but I'll probably see you guys next week when I post a video, okay? See you guys later.